Hello there, welcome to Scarborough Hacks. This week, I had to leave my comfort zone. I went from the back end and I've entered into the land of the front end. I did JavaScript development. And of course, I went to use Emacs to do my JavaScript development. And uh, that's what I want to tell you about today. So, to set up JavaScript in Emacs, you start off with the basic. Uh, of course, we want auto completion, you want code navigation, and we want to do remote debugging in Firefox from the comfort zone of Emacs. So it starts with the really, really basic, arguably the most important thing is to get indentation right. And for that, you set this good old variable indent level two. And, um, but to go beyond that, um, the JavaScript mode or the JS2 mode, uh, you need Node and you need LSP, so you need to apt-get install or yum install or however you install Node. Um, this is how to install it in Arch. And once you have Node installed, uh, then install LSP mode in Emacs, and then you can set it up uh, to load for all programming modes or just for JavaScript mode, um, and so on. Then once you got that working, you set up DAP mode. So that's the deep debugger adapter protocol. And as you can see, uh, in addition to just install that, uh, I set up F7, F8, F9 shortcuts because I find them very useful when de debugging. These are the defaults in IntelliJ IDEA, and I think they're good defaults. So I have the same in both places. And the third thing you need to do is to install the Firefox Visual Studio plugin. There is a thing called DAP Firefox. You get it with the DAP mode, uh, but you just need to load it. And then once you have that, there is in theory an easy way. It's DAP Firefox setup, which doesn't work, at least not for me. I got this rate limiting error from Microsoft, even though I have never accessed this web page before. Um, so what I had to do was I went to this marketplace, Visual Studio, and I clicked on the release, the latest version, and I clicked download. And then I got a zip file, a zip file which was called something else, but that we'll get to that in a moment. And then to know where to extract it, I consulted this DAP Firefox debug program variable. So that's control H and then V for variable, return. You add that one and return. Then you get a path, a default path where Emacs looks for this. Um, so with that, I knew it needs to go into this directory. And so I made that, and then I unzipped this zip file I downloaded, which is .vs, which is, I don't know, Visual Studio IEX. And then target directory, extensions for Visual Studio Code, call it something, I went with the default. And then the, um, the structure of that zip file has changed from whoever made the Emacs plugin. So you have to massage it a little bit. So the JavaScript file to look for is adapter bundle JS. So this is inside of the bundle I extracted. And the important thing is then that this variable dat Firefox debug program that needs then to be node as the first argument and the second argument needs to be the full path to this adapter button to JS. That's it. Once you have that, you can do DAP debug and then you launch the debugger in Firefox. All right, so let's check it all out. So here I have Emacs set up with basic configuration. I've also prepared an init.el for you. Um, you can download that later which will give you exactly this setup that you see here. So we have LSP setup, so it gives you documentation lookup. For instance, create element here, I get nice documentation in line. I have a symbols browser, and I have auto completion, so I can do things like console and dot debug. I also have code navigation, so I have two functions here. I have main and I have render, and now I can jump to render if I do meta dot up here, and if I pop back, so that's meta comma by default, and back back where I was st where I started in main. There's also uh, various things like uh, 
it marks if it's unused. Um, I've a little advanced feature I like is that you can do LSP rename. So I can rename P to paragraph and it sorts it all out. Now, with that, let's try out the debugger. So I don't have any Firefox running, but if I do dap debug and I say Firefox run configuration, I can select the HTML file that loads the JavaScript file. This HTML file, you can look at it. It doesn't do anything else. It only loads the JavaScript file. That's it. Now Emacs started Firefox in debug mode for me. And you can see that because the background color here is red. So I'll make Firefox a little bit smaller because it's not that interesting. It's not more than this text in, in these numbers. You can see down here that I also get the console log of Firefox. So I did a console.log hello name here, and that's the output that you see here. So you only you both get it in Firefox if you had the inspector open and you have hit it here in Emacs. As you can see here in the margin in the fringe, I have two breakpoints set, but they're not active before after Firefox is loaded. Um, I add them again. And then I do dap debug restart. And now the breakpoint breaks, it breaks at the breakpoint. And you can see here I have um, a local spreader where um, I have the window object in Firefox here. So here you can see everything that the, the browser has access to, the DOM token list, the audio, the video controller, all of it. Um, and I also see what the value of the I controller function here, the callback function is. And I can jump into my render function. So that's F7 with my configuration. That's step into. And I can step down. And you can see that Firefox now it's like there. It should get a new uh, paragraph with two. There. So I find the debugger really stable. It's fast and it's consistent. What's not consistent is the symbols, the local spacer. So here you can see now that the block doesn't expand. The object does, the window object does, but the block doesn't. When that happens, I use one or two. I either do uh, dap, oh, hang on, now I'm not even there. Uh, I either do say, what use one of the dap, dap, the eval, well, about thing and point or region. Um, that normally works. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't work now. Well, anyway, uh, the other thing I, uh, you also had that view I repl, um, where you can output anything from the from the JavaScript context where you are. So here you can see the PNX is four. You can also do things like um, hello world and then dot substring to uh, so it's a full JavaScript environment loaded with all the object and everything from the context where you're running the debugger that's pretty cool um, yeah that's it so now you can see I'm running it fast and it's pretty fast I think it, it's uh, it's satisfactory that's it uh, so when you do that disk disconnect um, that stops and then when you do debug I uh, say Firefox run configuration and foo HTML then it loads in in the running Firefox again but if you close Firefox it will open it a new one yes that's it I believe um, so if it doesn't do that uh, you can start Firefox in debug mode yourself then you do Firefox start debugger server, and then we'd open a regular window, and then the first time Emacs does this thing, then you get this a second window with with the um, the red background in the location header. So in summary, there's three things you need: LSP mode, DAP mode, and the Firefox plugin. 
for VS Code. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you around next time.